All right, so I wanted to show you guys um, my attack strategy that I use um, up at the higher levels. Um, it's a very uh, cheap way of um, doing a lot of attacks, um, keeping your resources low, and like cashing on the loot bonus you get. So um, just to show you um, right now, if you look at the top of the screen, uh, the loot bonus um, I'm getting is about 75,000 uh, gold and elixir and 400 dark elixir per um, usually I'm up in Master 1 or Champion, so it's obviously a lot higher there. Um, so the, the strategy is to create the, the cheapest army possible. So if you look at what I've got right now, you'll notice mostly archers and, and barbarians and a couple of hogs. And uh, all of my attacks will show that except for, I was trying a different attack here. But uh, you can see all of my attacks are 1 stars. Um, I rarely lose, and it's... 95 barbarians, 120 archers, 5 hogs, and then I use my king and queen. And um, the only time I really use clan troops or lightning spells uh, is if I need it. And um, usually I don't. Uh, and, and here's why. Um, when you see my replay, we sort of overwhelm the defenses. Uh, this strategy is called four-fingered fighting. And basically you use your index finger and your thumb on each hand to spread troops out uh, across the map as quickly as possible. So I do a, uh, a round of barbarians to get all the defenses targeted. Then I drop uh, a round of archers and I'll throw some hogs in at certain points uh, to break down some key defenses like mortars or, or a wizard tower or something like that. But this strategy primarily only works with bases that have um, a lot of of buildings on the outside so here you can see um, the battle's over quickly as soon as I got one star I ended it I could have gotten more loot but the downside to that would be I have to wait longer for my uh, king and queen to to heal um, so um, that's the downside I don't want to have to spend any resources so again if we if we watch the beginning of this I drop a very thin layer of barbarians and archers all the way around using my thumb and index finger then um, I'll drop some hogs in right here, probably not the best location in retrospect, uh, and in the meanwhile I drop in all of my archers. The hogs are sort of secondary, I've added it just because it's harder um, at the higher levels, um, but you really want to find bases that don't have mortars or expos on the outside, and you want to find lower level wizard towers, so um, once you start seeing those dark, dark purple wizard towers, I try to avoid those bases, so uh, just really quick, I'll go back and find one more attack, and you can see when and where I would use my spells if necessary. Um, so let's see here. We'll take a look at uh, we'll take a look at this one, and basically it's going to start off the same way again. I've got a base that has a lot of uh, what we call yard trash, so anything that's outside of of the base walls. So in this in this one, I'm actually doing something I don't do often, which is baiting the clan castle. I'll use a couple of barbarians, then I'll lightning spell the troops in there. And then now you'll see me drop uh, all of my troops in here. And again, it, it overwhelms the defenses. So um, now I'll drop in my hogs, and then I'll drop in my archers. And, you know, usually I don't need to involve my clan castle. Um, if I've done something wrong or underestimated something, then, then I'll have to drop them in for some extra reinforcement. Um, but I usually use my king and queen just to help uh, expedite things a little bit. Um, but you'll notice here, I mean, I'm already at 44%, and uh, the replay ends in another 9 seconds. So uh, it doesn't really take much. Um, as you can see, I get my 50%, and as soon as I do, I quit. Um, and that's because the loot bonus basically makes up for anything that I would try to be um, try to get. Uh, otherwise, but uh, let me show one more replay um, where I am, let's say, using more lightning spells to, to get the win. So here, here's, uh, well, I guess I don't have any more examples I can show, unfortunately, but um, typically um, I'll have to use a lightning spell um, on a lower end building. So this base here is a little bit more complex. Um, you've got some higher level wizard uh, like I said, these, these darker wizards, but the strategy is the same for me. I always attack the same way. Um, I've got a king and a queen to uh, contend with this time, um, and they'll come out and kill off some of my troops, but 
Um, what you'll notice here is that I'm going to need to use a lightning spell to get my 15 to get my 50% win, and um, it pays off knowing which buildings can be easily destroyed um, by by a lightning spell. So your your king and queen, um, those those little pads that they heal on, those can be easily destroyed with one lightning spell. Um, most of your resource collectors are one or two, um, depending on if they've been damaged or not, and obviously builder huts. Um, so you'll see here once my once my uh, queen dies here, um, instead of using my clan castle troops, I just decide to use a um, a lightning spell. So I'll drop it on something that I know I can kill, which is right here, and I get my fifty percent, and that's my strategy. It's pretty effective. It's gotten me all the way to the Champions League, and uh, it's it's a cheap and easy way to um, keep upgrading your defenses, like you can see here. You know, my base is not not fully maxed, and that's because I'm not a gemmer. I don't spend uh, a lot of money on on gems. Like I, I'll get an iTunes gift card and for someone for Christmas, and you know, I'll use it. But um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm trying to use all my resources to update my base as I go and spend as little as I can to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed it.